Hey guys, Jeremy here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the shape grid tools in Illustrator CC. Instead of using infographics in PowerPoint or Word, you can always recreate the shapes in Illustrator. It's a lot better, a lot more efficient. Um, you can create abstract and geometric shapes as well. So it's good to play around with your designs in it as well. Or if you have a client that needs an infographic or like a pie graph, a pie chart, that type of thing, you can redo it in Illustrator. Um, and it's a vector, you can scalable, and it's a lot easier to create and play around with the, with the type as well. So recently I had to do this little infographic um, pie graph for a client. Um, just It was a small job, nothing major, but I re they gave me a JPEG, so I had to recreate it in Illustrator and do it properly. I had to fix up the text. Um, it was pretty messy, so this is what I did. So I want to show you how to re sort of recreate this and what tools I use. So we'll go to our left on the toolbar, and if you see this little um, drop-down arrow, you just right-click, and it'll open down the menus like this. So you've got all these tools. You've got the line segment tool, the arc tool, the spiral tool, the rectangular grid tool, and the polar grid tool. We're going to focus on the rectangular and the polar grid tool uh, mainly, but I'll quickly show you these other tools. The line segment tool is just pretty much uh, like a stroke. You can click and drag, or you can click um, if you want to do customize the options and select the angle, and it will create the line like that. And these are the strokes. You can increase the width. Very simple. You can also do an arc. So this, if you can hold shift, you see if I'm, I'm holding shift now, it will, it will keep the proportions of that. Just increase the width there. And it's pretty much made an arc. An arc is just pretty much a wide angle line, like a circle. Sometimes it's better to make the circle. It's a lot easier. And you can just delete the points, the anchor points, to create like an arc like this. It's a bit different. But these, these tools are good because you can type on it. So um, if I wanted to type on the path, I can just click like this, and now I can type on the path, which is really easy. But I'll do that in another tutorial. So I use those tools when I was um, creating the type to make it go around um, the, the graph. So we're going to jump into the spiral tool now. So when you're using these tools, make sure you're always holding Shift and Alt to keep the proportions. And what we're going to do now is a little trick. So if you want to um, make the, the line shorter or longer, what you do is you press up and or down. So as you can see, the line is actually increasing. I don't know if you can see that. And it's making it longer. So if you press up and down, that's what, what it's going to do. And if I let go, it's created the spiral now. I'm just going to uh, put the width of the stroke. And now we've got this spiral. So it's really cool. It's scalable vector. That's a stroke. We can edit it, change the color, and fill it like that. I'm just going to delete that. And we're going to jump into the rectangular grid tool now. So the same sort of thing. You can create a box and it creates these, these grids. These are good if you want to create tables or if you're creating like an um, you know, information sheet um, or, or you have a lot of data or an infographic, that, that type of thing. Now, this is really handy. So just all you do is click and drag. Always, um, I usually hold shift and alt, as you can see, keep the proportions, or just hold shift. And we're going to create this. And what we can do now, as well as we just did before, you press up and down, and it will change the amount of rows. So as you can see, if I keep pressing up, it's going to increase it to make them more lines. And we can also increase the columns as well. So up and down is to the for the rows, and left and right is to increase or decrease how many columns there are. So as you can see, I'm, I'm just increasing, and if you let go, now it's pretty much, we've made a grid. So this is a stroke right now, but I can expand it, and now there's shapes, and I'm just using the Shape Builder tool now, Shift M, and you know, I can color these in, make some weird dominoes or whatever I'm doing, and like a checkerboard. So that's very handy to make like a grid, um, to put information in that. And we're going to go to the polar grid tool now. So this is the main tool that I used to create that infographic. So I hold shift and alt, or shift and option. And as you can see, what you do is left and right again, it will create more pieces of pie in the, in the graph. You can hold it down and it'll just go really quick. So, you know, you can make... Um, a pie graph, you can make some weird, you know, hexagon shapes, and it'll all be within that within that circle. If I press up, it's going to increase or decrease the amount of circles within it, and left and right will increase the amount of slices or triangles within it. 
So, and then once you've done that, you can hold shift and alt because it's hard to hold everything at once. And then you just let go. So now we've got this, I'm just gonna increase the stroke. Uh, make it black. So now we've got this this grid. Well, we've, got, we've got this target. So that's the main thing that I use. Um, you can hold the shift M to get the shape, shape builder tool. And what I'm doing here is just minusing stuff out. So this is one way you could do it. So if you want certain information in these bars, um, we've got these pie charts now. You can change the color. And pretty much this is how I um, did the information. Then I'll type, uh, I'll use the arc tool or the circle tool and do it from the center and make sure it fits within there to make it all proportionate and equal. And then I'll use a type, type, type tool and type on the line there to curve the text around. And then the rest was just all these shapes, polygrid tools, and then just anything like that. So yeah, hope this was helpful, guys. Um, hope you enjoy your day. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos each week.